Yo, what a world, thank you guys for watching another video in my vlog series. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I am doing different travel vlog series, different stadium tours, food reviews, I guess, uh, and then as well as kind of on the daily life of what I do as a freelance videographer and what I do as an editor for Watch Momentum, or editing for content creators such as Eric Sim and Paige Halstead. Come along, thank you guys again. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much again. I really appreciate everybody's support. Check out some other videos that I have. Otherwise, enjoy this new video. Yo, what a world, thank you guys for watching. Today's agenda on this vlog is to go, or shooting high school baseball, high school basketball, and going to the Dodger game. The high school basketball team, it is their senior night, girls basketball. It's gonna be awesome. And then I'm excited to go to the Dodger game again. Again, we're trying to try different things at the stadium. You know, whatever specialty items that are at every stadium. Anyways, off to this baseball game, and let's go check it out. Come along. Great win by the girls basketball team and now on the way to the Dodger game. So let's go. So it's seven o'clock and actually traffic's not that bad. Usually it's like lined up way back at the beginning. The game starts in like 10 minutes. Usually traffic is like completely backed up back there. Luckily, I'm not parking all the way out there today. I'm parking over here. Semi closer? I don't know. It's pretty much just the opposite side of where I was. <laughs>
4-0 at home when I get to see the Dodgers. It's amazing. This time I got to try Shake Shack. I tried out the Smoke Shack burger this time, as you can see. The Smoke Shack has bacon, cheese, and chopped cherry peppers. Kind of gives it like a little bit of a kick. If you guys haven't had Shake Shack, it's pretty good. Of course, at the stadium, the prices are a little bit higher than what they normally would be at Shake Shack, but Shake Shack in general is a la carte, so it's kind of expensive, but it's still a pretty decent burger, so. I think the only quip that a lot of people, or especially Dodger fans have, is that there's no in and out and that we have Shake Shack instead. So, go figure. We do have CPK, which, I mean, California Pizza Kitchen, you know, just gives people different varieties, different things to try out. The Smoke Shack that I had was pretty good. Then I also had cheese fries. It's pretty much just crinkle fries that are it's like melted cheese on it, and it's not nacho cheese, so it was pretty good too. That was probably one of my favorite things. I didn't expect to have Shake Shack this trip, but you know, Elise and uh, the friends and family were with wanted some. So I was like, you know what? Might as well try it because I'm going to try it eventually. So also had another Dole Whip cup and churro. I guess, you know what? I haven't ranked any of these and there's no scale for you guys to understand like how, what I like. So I guess to start off the Smoke Shack, I'd probably give it like eight out of 10. I don't know, like the burger was kind of thin. Again, for me, like the kick is pretty good, but it wasn't like too spicy. But yeah, I would rank it eight out of 10. The cheese fries, probably nine out of 10, maybe 10 out of 10. It was just really good. The Dole Whip cup I also had and churro again, same as my last vlog. It's probably one of my favorite dessert combinations. They, again, they used to have like a bigger size souvenir helmet that the Dole Whip came in and then they had three churros in there and pretty much I'm doing the same thing, just have to buy the two separate items by themselves. That's a 10 out of 10 for me, because that's just something that I really enjoy at Dodger Stadium. That's definitely a big dessert thing if you guys are interested in dessert. Until they get the Dodgers dessert trolley back, that's kind of what you have to settle with, is with the soft serve ice cream. I think they also have like the frozen lemonade and the chocolate malt in the cup, and then the Dole Whip cup, as well as the churro. And then you guys got to see me hang out. The seats that we normally have are in reserve, but today we hung out with our friends in the new Centerfield Plaza area, or specifically in left field in front of the Golden Road Brewing, because there's a bunch of tables, high tops. It's just a really cool place to just really hang out. You're socially distanced from the other tables for the most part. As far as tables themselves, like if you don't want to eat in your seat, great place to, to eat. You won't miss the game because there's this huge big screen that they have. And they also have like other TV monitors that kind of surround the little awning area as you guys can see like behind me in some of the videos. They are all live. Um, you definitely won't miss the game if you're in that area. Side note to that, there's like a little play area out there, both left and right that the kids can play on that are open versus on the reserve level, the kids areas right now, as of this video, we're not open. If you got small kids, they can enjoy that area while you sit and eat and watch the game and don't have to worry about anything in the seats. But yeah, I, yeah, I kind of really like that area. It gets a little bit crowded in the beginning of the game or like before the game starts because a lot of people are trying to explore that area. But once the game starts, like that area is cleared out. It's not, there's not too many people of the game. Quick couple announcements. June 15th coming up is the magical date when Dodger Stadium is supposed to open at full capacity. But right now, again, as like the next couple of homestands, they still have social distancing seating but they are opening up more seating to be for the vaccinated sections with that said they are opening up the home run seats to people with the vaccination so i'm planning on trying to grab one of those seats with that said the next trip that i'm going on is going to be in houston texas to see the dodgers play the astros i'm really hoping it's going to be just a great baseball game series in general. Anyways, with that said, yeah, we'll be in Houston or I'll be in Houston for three, four days and I'm hoping to meet up with Sean of Goat Gloves. He's just a really cool person in the glove and baseball community and as well as YouTube. So I'll link his YouTube up here. Uh, he's a really cool guy, but I'm gonna get to meet him for the first time in person. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, for anybody that knows me, I hate saying that, uh, I just, kind of want to go with a natural flow of like if you enjoy my stuff then subscribe but if you don't enjoy my stuff then yeah like because i know my channel is completely flooded with a bunch of different things from bullpen videos of pro baseball players to basketball highlight videos to bark box review videos yeah it's just all over the place but again that's just kind of my life welcome you guys into it and watch so 
Again, if you guys like it, then enjoy. But otherwise, uh, sorry, looking down at my dogs over here because they want some belly rubs. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you, and I'll talk to you all soon. All right, peace.